dragon is a fabulous and universal symbolic figure found in most cultures throughout the world. Every continent on Earth, except Antarctica, has a history of dragon, serpent, and reptilian mythology. The stories of reptilian creatures date back to the earliest human writings, those of Sumer and Babylon, as well as other civilizations of ancient Mesopotamia. Among the thousands of clay tablets that have been recovered and translated are documents that record events dating back 240,000 years. One of these, the Sumerian King List, tells the story of a god, An, chief god of an extraterrestrial race called the Anunnaki, and his sons Enki and Enlil. It is clear from the text and illustrations left by the Sumerians that at least some of these gods were reptilian in appearance. Reptilian statues and artifacts were also created by the ancient Ubaid people and discovered in what is now modern-day Iraq. It is Enki who gave the first people the fruit of the tree of knowledge and who later saved humanity by warning a Noah-like figure of the Great Flood. These stories are so similar to the Old Testament that one can only conclude that the Old Testament authors borrowed heavily from them. In the Sumerian tale, Enki is given the task of creating a worker force to help the Anunnaki till the soil and mine the ore for which they came to Earth. This he does through considerable trial and error, in the process creating strange creatures. The legend implies that Enki possessed a highly advanced technology that included the capability of genetically altering the indigenous species. Using a mysterious process to create a clay-like substance, he was able to bind upon the image of the gods, indicating that Enki used Anunnaki genes to create a hybrid species. It also implies that some of the early humans may have had a reptilian appearance. References to reptilian Anunnaki watchers, good and bad angels, and hybrid babies can be found in many ancient texts including the Old Testament, which borrowed much from older documents, including the Book of Enoch. The prophet Enoch is mentioned in Genesis as the son of Cain and the father of Methuselah. He is believed to be one of the antediluvian patriarchs who, along with Noah, walked with God. Books written by anonymous writers but credited to Enoch were given the great credence by early Jewish scholars. Parts of the Book of Enoch, written in Aramaic, were found among the scraps of parchment in the caves of Qumran in 1947, having been placed there nearly 2,000 years ago by a Jewish sect known as the Essenes. These, of course, are the Dead Sea Scrolls. In one writing, the Book of the Watchers, we learn that the Watchers are angels and that they are good and bad Watchers. We are told that the Watchers are angels of the Lord, but in the case of wicked or bad angels, the science they teach turns wicked because of their sins. Their sin is that they permit their sexual appetite to dominate them. When the evil Watchers descend and behold the daughters of man, they began to corrupt themselves. When the sons of God saw the daughters of man, they could not restrain their inclination. These Watchers fall from grace with God when Enoch travels to heaven in physical form to testify against them. He tells God that the Watchers had begun to go unto the daughters of men so that they became impure. As punishment for the sins of the evil Watchers against humankind, God destroys humanity, including the hybrid race of beings who are the offspring of the humans and the Watchers, by causing a great flood. Huangdi, or the Yellow Emperor, was the first Chinese emperor who ruled between 2697 to 2598 BC. He was said to descend to the earth in the belly of a dragon to help unify the people. In fact, the first four rulers of China were called the Four Dragon Kings in Chinese mythology. They were divine rulers of the four seas, also representing the four cardinal directions. They were said to be reptilian in appearance and also had the ability to shapeshift. The Chinese, Korean, and Japanese speak throughout their history of Long, Yang in Korean, and Ryu in Japanese, or dragons, conceived of both physical and non-physical forms. The Japanese have tales of the Kappa, a reptilian humanoid. A funny side note about the Kappa, in the third Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, the four heroes travel back in time to feudal Japan. The Japanese villagers that encountered the turtles refer to them as Kappa. The lineage of humans from a race of dragons was often claimed by Asian emperors, who were believed to be able to change from human to dragon form at will, much like the modern concept of shape-shifting reptilians. In fact, to this day, the Chinese zodiac features 11 existing animals and one animal that comes from their so-called legends, all regarded as legit animals, the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, snake, horse, 
sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, pig, and dragon. The Mayans spoke and recorded history of a species of iguana men who descended from the sky, taking charge of their civilization. These beings taught them how to build their magnificent pyramids and even instructed them to arrange them in patterns reflecting the constellations. The legendary Mayan story of Kukmat speaks of serpents of wisdom enlightening the people and sometimes even devouring the young. These visitors could explain some of the ancient astronaut theories and images from inside the Mayan temples depicting the Mayan king Pakal ascending in his rocket ship. Kukukan was a major Mayan deity, the feathered serpent, also known as Quetzalcoatl by the earlier Toltec people from that region. The Great Pyramid of Cholula, the world's largest pyramid by volume, located in Mexico, was built to honor Quetzalcoatl. In pre-Columbian mythology, Bachu, the primordial woman, transforms into a big snake. She is also sometimes called Serpiente Celestial. Many users of the drug dimethyltryptamine, the active ingredient in many South American shamanic potions such as ayahuasca, have seen reptilian humanoids or reptilian disincarnate entities while hallucinating. The Ohio Serpent Mound is located along the Ohio Brush Creek in Adams County, Ohio. It was built sometime before 1200 BC by the Allegheny people, also known as Allegheny. The Serpent Mound was thought to be an ancient burial mound arranged after the constellation Draco, where some say these reptilian beings originate from. The Hopi Indians of northern Arizona believe in two original races, the children of the feather who came from the skies and the children of the reptile who came from inside the earth. These undergrounders were referred to as Two Hearts, a race of reptilian humanoids called Sheti, translated Snake Brothers. John Rhodes, an active researcher of reptilian origins, has spoken to many tribal chiefs about this matter. Both Apache and Hopi tribal leaders spoke to him of the reptilians having underground bases and assisting the tribes in times of crisis. Underground cities of the reptilians are said to exist under parts of Arizona, California, and Mexico. The Zuni tribe, the Cherokee tribe, as well as other Native American tribes also hold a belief in reptilian beings or gods that came to earth long ago. In Western Africa, the legend of the rainbow serpent, Da, says the world was created by Nana Baluku, the one god, whom Da carried in its mouth to accomplish this process of creation. After the creation of the world, Nana Baluku asked Da to coil beneath the earth to help support its mass. The Dogon people of Mali, who are claimed to be descendants of the ancient Egyptians, believe their gods, the Nomo, or the beings known as Oans, were from the Sirius constellation. They are either fish-like, amphibious, or reptilian, quite scaly in appearance. Strangely, the scaly fish-head appearance of the Oans closely resembles the Pope's hat.